All right. Well, hey, gang, I'm here with Daniel from Spec5 today, and we're talking hamcation and mesh tastic. So, uh, you know, hamcation is just a week away, and it's the first big um, ham fest of, of the season, really. And I've got Daniel here because this is really the first Spec5 ham fest uh, for the uh, for the team as well. So how you doing, Daniel? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me again. Uh, and yeah, I'm super excited to hop on a plane and head down to Orlando next week. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen, but the weather looks like it's going to be awesome. We're talking 80 degrees. Like, and sunny. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Who could ask for anything better? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I mentioned this is uh, the first time for you guys to go to one of these major ham fests. You may have went to some some local regional ones. I'm not I'm not sure, but uh, tell me what you guys are are hoping for or expecting, or tell me a little bit about what makes going to this a success for you guys. Oh man, um, there's so many different ways to answer this question. So um, the biggest thing that we've learned. In, the, in our first year of business has been the importance of like connection and connecting with the community. Um, so going to a convention and being able to get that one-on-one -on -one face to face with Meshtastic users, with customers, with potential customers um, is really gonna be exciting. Uh, obviously we're a business, we're hoping to sell a bunch of product. We're gonna have a bunch of product there. Nice. There, there to sell. Um, but really just to have the opportunity to, um, you know, communicate and, and even, and even educate people on, uh, on what these, what, what these devices do, how they can use them, answer questions if they're having issues. Um, you know, that's going to be, that's going to be what, 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 what success looks like. Um, cool. You know, cool. I'm, I'm hoping that there's, that there's a hand, handful of people hanging out in our booth the, the whole weekend. Yeah, well, I, I think you guys are going to get some attention for sure. Uh, you know, if you and I, we've talked a little bit of some of our mesh-tastic experiments at some of these big ham fests. Uh, you know, last year at uh, Hamvention, we kind of did our first kind of group effort to try to get people to bring devices and, and, and try to have a mesh-tastic experience. And we had lots of people show up. And then we promptly saturated the network and everything was awful, right? And then we went to Huntsville and we, we learned a lot from what we did in Dayton and things were a lot better. And so this is kind of that next evolution. And, and part of that evolution is to get some really solid um, kind of... Uh, I, I hesitate to say routers, but to, to get some relay type devices, I guess that's a, that's a great name you guys picked for, for your stationary um, solar node, but to, to really get a substantial presence that really creates that consistency and capability. Uh, so maybe that's, a, maybe that's a good place to start. Let me, uh, let me jump on over here and um, we can, We'll, we'll certainly talk hamcation a little bit, but uh, you guys are actually going to be helping uh, provide some of that infrastructure, right? So yes, let's uh, yeah. Let's... So we 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 sent off one of our relays, and I've got one here. Let me slide it back. I've got another one here. I'll have a couple couple available at the booth for sale. We were asked if we could provide one for the event, and. Uh, I made sure we we said yes. So uh, yeah, the, the the relay is getting mounted up on the mast uh, with, with the with the various other repeaters um, that the event organizers are putting up, and uh, we are going to be kind of holding down the mesh. Yeah, so yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm excited for the opportunity. That's yeah, I, I think it's great that you guys are doing that, and I'm uh, I'm looking to try to bring up the relay here if I can. So if I go in here and just uh, take a look at everything you guys have in the catalog. 
Uh, where's the relay hide? Oh, it's right there. All right, very good. So this is the device that we're talking about. Um, you know, this is, it, it's got a great panel on it. It's got a great antenna on it. Maybe you can give me the 30 second spiel about why this is a great device to kind of anchor the mesh. Absolutely. So the Spec5 Relay is our set it and forget it mesh repeater. Um, uses the Rackwise block uh, 4631. Um, we have a large fiberglass high gain antenna. And um, we try to keep it just as simple as possible for, uh, you know, maximum transmission and receiving. Uh, and then Power-wise, there's a double 18650 inside and a 12-watt solar panel. Uh, so the solar panel, even on a cloudy day, uh, is outputting enough juice to charge the battery. So yeah, 90% of the time, if it's daylight, that the, the radio is running on the solar panel or, and or charging the battery. Nice. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we provide it on a, on a nice metal arm with some gear clamp straps and uh, quick, quick, quick and easy to, to, to mount on a tower or pole. Yeah, great. And, and so us hams, right? We, we want to know the specs, right? We want to know all the details. So I think that's like a 12 watt panel. And if I'm not mistaken, like an eight DBI uh, gain antenna, is that, does that sound about right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so when we put that thing up, uh, and, and look, we need to really give a great shout out to the Hamcation crew who worked with us. Uh, lots of good folks over there who, when we approached them about trying to add this to the festivities, they were all for it. And they offered some space on one of their portable towers. So we're going to get this thing about 50 feet up uh, on one of those portable towers. And... Uh, we also coordinated with those folks, right? So they've got, they've got some solar nodes of their own, and we're going to make sure that uh, the whole campus uh, where Hamcation takes place is, is covered uh, with a great mesh signal. So um, really excited to see how things go this time around. Like it feels like each one of these big ham fests we're, we're maturing our capability. So. This is a big step forward for us. Yeah, I'm excited. This will be this will be my first time, probably with more than like 100 nodes in the mesh. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to experience it and play with it, kind of better better understand, uh, you know, where the little downfalls are, um, and then what what we as users can do, whether it's device settings, different different channel settings, uh, to improve it and not and not completely blow it out. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be you know, an exciting learning process for myself as well. Well, and, and, and you and I talked, and like I said, we, uh, we also worked with the Hamcation crew, and, and the way that we have uh, kind of agreed to implement the mesh for the event is this is going to be running on short, fast, right? So there's going to be some LoRa radio changes that folks may need to make on their devices to, to be able to participate. This is going to be set up as uh, short, fast. We're asking folks to uh, to stay in either a client or a client mute type mode. Um, let's yeah. see what else we're asking. Uh, setting a, a three hop limit, turning off MQTT. And I mean, we're trying to keep all of this local. We're trying to keep all the traffic local. We're trying to um, trying to get as many connected nodes as we can without crushing the mesh. So uh, these settings are um, hopefully going to get us there and I'm excited to see how it goes as well. And uh, you know, with that, I guess here, let me bring up, I'm gonna share a couple of QR codes for folks. And these are the channels that will be, um, they'll be set up on, on all those kind of infrastructure type nodes. We'll have these on the relay. Uh, I know the Hamcation team is loading these channels on their nodes as well. You can see at the top, we've got one that's the official Hamcation 2025 channel. 
And then below that, you'll see the YouTube channel. And this is the same channel that we used at, um, at Huntsville too. So if you folks who are at Huntsville are coming, uh, you'll be able to use the same type of configuration. And we'll make sure these QR codes are kind of plastered all over the place. We shared them with, uh, with Daniel. He's going to make sure he's got them all over the booth. The Hamcation team has them. They're going to make sure that these things are everywhere uh, so that everyone will know how to, uh, to join in on the fun. Let me also bring up, I know this is your first time, so let me, let me bring this up real quick and just kind of give you a quick lay of the land in terms of where we're going to be as a group. And let's see here. I think I'm looking for the map. There's a, ah, uh, here we go. All right. So that looks pretty good. Let me blow this up just a little bit here. Okay. So Daniel, if we take a look here, this East West building, this is kind of the primary hall. And I believe that's where you guys are going to be located. Is that right? Yes, sir. We are in booth 86. All right, 86, and I think you said that's somewhere in one of the corners, so it should be on the main thoroughfare for folks. It is, it is. All right, cool. And then uh, you can see out here this forums uh, area here, so that's where a lot of the different class and training opportunities and educational things go on. So the campus is pretty good size here. Uh, when you walk out of the east-west hall, what you see is the north hall. That's uh, just a lot more vendors in there as well. And then in that lawn area, just to the left, there'll be a lot of uh, food vendors set up. So there's food trucks and those types of things that are set up in that area. They're also set up in this area that shows a 10. If you can see that, it's kind of difficult to see on the map there right in front of or to the left of the east-west hall. Uh, then we've got the swaps area. This is where folks bring all their, all their junk. And um, I say that uh, in a loving manner because we all love to go through everybody's junk. But there's all kinds of stuff in the swaps area. And then you see this big RV field, right? And this is where everybody comes and people that are staying on site, this is where you'll find them. And then what we generally try to do, Daniel, is we try to get back in the corner kind of where you see that dirt uh, transition there. We're usually back in that corner. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to have an RV there. We have a bunch of guys, Jason, who you know, uh, and, and a bunch of other YouTube guys are going to be back there. And that's going to be kind of a place to hang out and get away from things. So if you're able to, to sneak away uh, and, and come over and, and get a break, that'd be a great place for you to hang out uh, and, and get to meet a bunch of folks as well. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. And then, I'm also hoping it's, it's going to be a busy weekend for me at the booth. Yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised about uh, the type of attendance and the type of traffic. This is a great show. The weather's going to be great. Um, there's a lot of new vendors, which I think has everybody excited, you guys being one of those new vendors. And so I think, uh, I think it's going to be busy. I think you guys are going to have a good time. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to, to walk the different booths myself, whether it's before the doors open to the public or afterwards, um, kind of chit chat and mingle with some of these other um, with some of these other, other vendors, you know, there's guys on the list that do towers and, and custom antennas and stuff like that. And, uh, we probably aren't making a lot of 915 megahertz stuff, but you know, maybe there's an opportunity for, for some partnership on that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just excited to have this opportunity to have these conversations face to face. Well, there's, there's a group I want to introduce you to. It's called the ARDC. And this is a group that provides a lot of grant funds for, um, for digital communications and amateur radio. So anything that's kind of connected to that, these guys are interested in. And there's some great folks over there. So uh, that's, that's one of the connections I want to make. I want to get, uh, get you guys connected, get you guys chatting a bit, and see if there isn't an opportunity for you guys to do something with those guys as well. That sounds great. Sounds great. We love giving back. All right. 
we're, we're trying to pull this together last minute here on a Saturday afternoon, and I don't want to keep you too long. Is there anything else you'd like to touch base on? Anything you'd like to chat about? Anything that I missed that you want to share with folks uh, leading into uh, the ham fest here? Um, let's see. We're going to have a bunch of product available, so come on out. Check, come, come to our booth. Hold it in your hand. Touch it. Ask a lot of questions. Um, yeah. Are you, got, are you also, gonna have any special also, pricing for the show? Yes, there will be. Uh, ah, there will be a discount nice. code. There Excellent. will be a discount code, and that and that will cover both product uh, purchased on site and product ordered from our website. We don't have enough on hand, um, but you're gonna have to come to the booth to get that discount. Yeah, fantastic. And then uh, I guess one other thing, I always like to see people's custom builds. Um, so if you think you've got like the coolest custom built mesh tastic device, come and see me, show it to me. Nice. And uh, I'd love to check that out. And then I, th I think the last thing is, you know, um, if, uh, if all the attendees can let me know which food truck is the best, that'd be super <laughs> helpful on lunchtime. Yeah, there's uh, they they try to rotate some of them, but there are some there are some standards. So we'll see who's there. We'll make sure you get something good to eat. Excellent, I'd appreciate that. All right, well, Daniel, thanks for uh, jumping on uh, this morning. Thanks for sharing information about uh, what you guys are going to be doing. Excited that you guys are dipping your toe into the ham fest world. I think you're going to enjoy it, and uh, you know, hopefully. Uh, this works out so well that you guys are interested in Hamvention in May. So we'll see. We'll see how things uh, go. I, I I hope this is the first of many. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, again, thank you, Daniel. Thanks uh, everybody for checking this out. If you have any questions for Daniel, uh, how can they get in touch with you, Daniel? Uh, if they go to the Spec5 website, uh, specfive.com, and uh, we've got a contact us, um, you can catch me there. All right. And, uh, I, I scan through all those messages. But uh, obviously, if you're going to be in Orlando, come see me at Booth 86. Very good. Well, I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. And uh, we hope to see everybody in Orlando. And until then, 7-3, gang. Thank you.